Hi, I'm Mrs McTaggart. In this video, we're going to be looking at converting decimal times. Now, that will include um, turning from minutes into hours and from decimal hours back into minutes. Some of your more irregular times, like 6, 10, 15 minutes. So technically, you will always have a calculator for these questions, but I definitely think it is handy to be able to do a couple of them mentally. And they all come from knowing what 6 minutes is. Because if you can remember what 6 minutes says as a decimal, you can therefore get any multiple of 6 and then potentially any multiple of 3 as well. So 6 minutes as a fraction is 6 out of 60, which simplifies down to 1 tenth. And you should know that 1 tenth or 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So knowing that 6 minutes is 0 0.1, 3 minutes is clearly half of that. You could think of that as 0 0.10 if you wanted, and half of that would be 0 0.05. If 6 minutes is 0 0.1, then you can get 12 minutes is 0 0.2, 3 minutes is 0 0.3, and 24 minutes would be 0 0.4, because 6 times 4 is 24, so multiply the 0 0.1 by 4, and you get that 24 minutes is 0 0.4. And then 9 minutes is a combination of 6 minutes plus 3 minutes, so it's 0 0.15. Now, technically, you're going to have a calculator, though. So if you want to just double-check, you may go to your calculator and do 6 divided by 60, that will get you 0 0.1. 3 divided by 60 will give you 0 0.05. 24 divided by 60 will give you the 0 0.4, and so on. So because minutes are always out of 60 in, our, in the, the way that time works, the method here is divide by 60. So that's why I've got that written up there. And that's what we're going to be doing for all the other ones on the next slide. So if you just remember, if I give you any kind of minutes to turn into decimals, just remember that in an hour there's 60 minutes. So think of these all, first of all, as out of 60. So the calculation you're going to be doing is 18 divided by 60, which is 0 0.3. You're going to do 20 divided by 60 here, and it gives you a calculator screen filled with threes. It gives you 0 0.33333, because 20 minutes is exactly a third of an hour. Now, it's okay to do this to two decimal places, okay? For 51 minutes, you're going to do 51 divided by 60 onto your calculator. And that will give you 0 0.85. And then my last one, 8 minutes, is another one that's not got a nice answer. So when you do 8 divided by 60, you will get 0 0.133333. So we're just going to leave that as 0 0.13. However, in my experience, it's usually a decimal um, the, sorry, the minutes they ask you to turn to a decimal are usually some kind of multiple of three so that it's a nice decimal to two des one or two decimal places. Now, what I haven't mentioned is these are all just single minutes. What if there was hours in front of them? So if I asked you to do two hours, 18 minutes, well, you know that's two point something. So you just work out what the 18 minutes is, which we did up here was 0 0.3. So that would be 2.3 as a decimal. If I asked you to do 4 hours 20 minutes, well, that would be 4 point, and then you said your 20 minutes was 0.33 up there, so that would be 4.33. If I wanted 5 hours 51 minutes, you would write that as 5 point, now you've got your 51 minutes here, as 8.5. So if it's hours and minutes, first thing you go do is get the little, get the minutes bit turned into a decimal, and then stick the number of hours on in the, the units place, okay? So here I would encourage you to pause, go try each of these. Now some of them work out nice, there's a couple that will give you two decimal places. Um, I think potentially number five and number six are ones that will give you, you'll have to do it to two decimal places, maybe number 15 as well. So pause, give them a try and then you can check your answers. And here are what your answers would be to decimal hours. And then we'll go on to the second part of this video. So now we're going to work in reverse. I'm going to give you what happens if you're doing a time calculation, your answer will come out as a decimal. 
but time questions will ask you to write your answer in hours and minutes. So this is like the last three stage of your time questions when we've got the decimal answer and we need to turn it back to hours and minutes. So it's a complete reverse, right? This is your decimal of 60 minutes. So in this one, we times by 60 minutes. All right. So for the first one, you're just going to do 0 0.55 times 60 onto your calculator and that gives you 33 minutes so you would say that that was 33 minutes 0 0.7 times 60 will give you 42 minutes now if you remember that six minutes was 0 0.1 that's really just six times seven which is 42 so that's maybe a quick way to do it without having going to your calculator and for the last one you're going to do 0 0.65 times 60 and that gives you an answer of 39 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to show you ones where there's hours in front as well. This is a bit where it gets a wee bit tricky for some people. So if I ask you to do 1.2 hours, you don't put the 1.2 into the calculator because we know that that is one hour something. Would you agree? 1.2 hours is one hour. You go to the side and you do 0 0.2 times 60 onto your calculator and that gives you 12. So our answer is 1 hour 12 minutes. The second one, 3.65, well I know that's 3 hours something. You go to the side and you do 0 0.65 times 60 and that will give you 39 minutes. So that would be 3 hours and 39. And for the last one, 4.667, you know that that's 4 hours something. You do 0 0.667 times 60. Now, and this one does not give you an exact number. It gives you 40.02. So we're going to just take that as 40 minutes because 40 minutes would have been 0 0.66666. So filling your calculator with 60. So at some point, this probably has been rounded. So we'd say that that is four hours, 40 minutes. So the, the unit bit at the front, if we have a number of hours, that does not go into your calculator, okay? You can write that straight down as that's your number of hours. So when I say it's the decimal part that we times by 60, I mean it's the dot bit, the point two, the point six five, the point six six seven. They are the bits that go into your calculator, all right? So then uh, this is the time you pause the video, try some of these for yourself. So these are all maybe answers that came out at the end of a time calculation. You have then to convert these into hours and minutes. All right, so have a wee try at them. And there are your answers so that you can check them. Okay.